What is the point of a circle? Circle is pointless. A geometry joke, you kidding me? Just a little warm up I like to start with, but seriously, how can you get in shape if you don't know geometry? Get in shapes, like Da Vinci here, and the fat will be polygon. But seriously, I know it's hard. As your understanding of reality begins to increase, you begin to experience more frequent epiphanies. What are epiphanies? An epiphany is a sudden moment of realization, a moment of comprehension, um, a revelation. Okay, you know when you misplace your keys and you begin to frantically look around and boom, all of a sudden you remember where you left them. Oh, I have epiphanies all the time. Eureka. Sometimes epiphanies come too late, like the fabled owl of Minerva flapping his wings at dusk. Philosophy always comes late to the party. It's really quite difficult, actually. Most of you probably won't be able to do it. But you should try anyways. So this book is just volume one out of a hundred. And once you get to the master class, you get the encyclopedic version. And I think the more you read, the more you understand that everything's tied together. You see the core principle. But also you start understanding that everything's relative and subjective. There is no center really, but there is a core. So this is a test for all of you. This is a world problem. And it's a good metaphor, I think, for a whole range of issues. I guess the point being, the point being that, the, the, the point being, if, if all we're doing is testing and then teaching to the test, that doesn't assure that we're actually improving educational outcomes.